Hello, today I'm going to teach you how to create a stylish video playlist with our product, Curve Menu Video. This is a demo of the video playlist. You can see this is a circular shape video player. You can see that different video and pay. When a video is paying, the detail of the video will be pop up. First, we need to set up a curve menu video components. Here, I prepare a nice background. Now, we check in the curve menu video into the stage. We open up the component inspector. Go to curve menu section and make the menu align vertically. Now we set the side to fit our background. Change the distance between item. Set up the size. Then we change the curvature to fit the background. Okay, the shape is ready. Last, we want to disable the caption. Then, we are going to build the XML. We want to build a playlist from YouTube, so we click on the Build XML from YouTube. We enter the channel name. Okay. Now the player is ready. We can test the movie. You can see we set up a basic video player. Now we are going to import the skin. We double click the skin.fla come with the download. You can see there is a portal skin inside the FLA. We copy and paste the skin into our project. We double click to edit the skin. You can see the server layer, a layer for the action script. We define the necessary action script for the skin. A mask and a layer for the original animation. You can see here is the original animation of the skin. You can see a title bar appear at the bottom of the skin. Now we are going to edit the animation. First, we change the position of the title bar. And then change the size of the back one. Since we want the title bar appear on the right side of the video. So we change the position like this and make the title bar slide out from the right of the video.
Since the original skin only have a caption, we want to have a description under the caption. So we copy and paste the caption and create a text below the caption. Then we need to change the instant name of the description text. Later on, we use it for the action script. Since the original skin will disappear after a second, so we need to delete the action script here and add a stop here to make sure the skin will stay. Now we need to edit the action script to control the skin. We go back to the wood of the skin and select the first frame. You can see here is a set size function, which will call when a skin is resized. We need to edit the script here. First, we need to add a script here to define the position of the mask. Then add the script to control the position of the background. Because the skin is in the right side, so we need to set the right position according to the while of the skin. Now we need to change the script to display the description of the video. Here is a on update function which will call when the content of the video update. We add the script here to change the description text. The skin is ready, then we need to apply the skin. We need to know the location name of the skin. The default name is custom poster skin. You can check in the library. Now we go back to the component inspector and go to the skin section. Then we scroll down and see the poster skin field. We fill in the name of the skin. Now we can test movie to see the result. A nice video player is ready for you. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe our YouTube channel. Bye bye.